हेलो गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑप्शनाइजेशन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ऑप्शनाइजेशन सो ऑप्शनाइजेशन इज अ प्रोसेस वेयर पैथोजेंस आर टारगेटेड for destruction by phagocytes so in this process the pathogens that have attacked us that have attacked our body these pathogens are targeted for the destruction and who will do this destruction this destruction will be done by phagocytes and we know phagocytes are some cells that can undergo phagocytosis so phagocytes are of different types of cells like neutrophils eosinophils monocytes macrophages dendritic cells mast cell these six types of cells are phagocytic cells and they are also known as phagocytes and these phagocytes can undergo phagocytosis and opsonization is a process where pathogens are targeted for these phagocytic process opsonization enhances the efficiency of phagocytosis so opsonization actually increases the efficiency of phagocytosis by the phagocytic cells now why do phagocytes require this process when they are already eligible for phagocytosis so this is the question that can come to our mind that why do actually these cells these phagocytes why do they require this pro opsonization process because they are already eligible for phagocytosis they are phagocytic cells they have all machineries they have everything to undergo phagocytosis then why do they require this opsonization process right okay so before initiating the phagocytic process pathogens need to be tagged for killing so pathogens need to be tagged need to be marked that these pathogens are marked for killing and this tagging is performed by opsonins so this tagging is done by opsonins that means opsonins are some proteins opsonins are actually some proteins that can mark or that can tag those pathogens for the process of phagocytosis opsonins bind the surface of these pathogens and tag them so these proteins these opsonins actually bind the surface of pathogens and by binding them they can tag these pathogens so in this picture we can see that this is the pathogen and these are some opsonins so these are some proteins and these proteins are binding these pathogen and tagging this pathogen these these opsonins are tagging this pathogen right okay so phagocytes do have receptor for opsonins phagocytic cells or phagocytes they have the receptors for opsonins and it is easier for a phagocyte to destroy a tagged pathogen compared to the naked pathogen so when these pathogens are tagged by the opsonins that time it is easier for phagocytes to kill them to detect them compared to the naked pathogen so suppose some phagocytes are here and there they are roaming and this is the pathogen and this pathogen is not at all tagged by the opsonins so it is difficult for the phagocytic cells to detect this pathogen and to kill this pathogen whereas when this pathogen is tagged 
by some opsonin it is easier by these phagocytes to detect and kill those pathogens now you can ask me why so why so all cell membranes have negative charges which makes it difficult for two cells to come close together okay so pathogens are also cells right if this is the pathogen that is that is also a cell and we know that all cells possess cell membranes so pathogens also have their cell membranes and the cell membranes have the negative charge why the cell membranes have the negative charges because cell membranes are made up of phospholipid so cell membranes are made up of some phospholipids right and those phospholipids are giving the membrane the negative charge because of the phospho group because of the phospho group these phospholipids are giving the membranes that negative charge and it makes difficult for two cells to come close together when the pathogen is also negatively charged and this is suppose the this is the phagocytic cell and this cell is also negatively charged so both cells are negatively charged due to their cell membranes and when both cells are negatively charged they will repel each other right because same charges will repel so they will repel each other so they can't come close together now when opsonins bind to their target so the when opsonins bind to the pathogen right when binds the pathogen they boost the phagocytes to undergo phagocytosis by favoring the interaction between the opsonin and cell surface receptors on phagocytes so phagocytes also possess some receptors for the opsonins and this is the this makes them easier because now the repulsion will go away because now the pathogens are coated by some opsonins so it would be easier for them and this negates the repulsion between two cells due to similar charges so the opsonin coating actually negates the repulsion okay next is that opsonins are of two types so now we are discussing the mechanism of opsonization so opsonins are of two types opsonins are proteins and they are of two types first one is the antibody and immunoglobulin g or and immunoglobulin m these two are most potent opsonins so these antibodies are most potent opsonins and next is the complement proteins and among the complement proteins c3b and c4b are the most potent opsonins so they all are some proteins and you have to remember that these antibodies and complement proteins are opsonins and they will do their function now so first one is the antibody mediated opsonization so in this case antibody contains two regions that we know that antibody contains two region so first is this fab region this fab region this is actually the antigen binding region or fab region so this fab region actually binds the antigen or you can say here the pathogen and number 2 is this fc so this is the fragment crystallizable region this is the fc region so antibody contains two regions one is fab region and one is fc region and fab region binds antigen 
So the Fab region binds pathogen over here and the FC region it actually binds the FC receptor on the plasma membrane of phagocytes. So I have already mentioned that phagocytes do contain some receptors for the opsonins because due to these receptors the opsonins can be attached with these phagocytes. So, this FC region is that region of the antibody that can bind the FC receptor on the phagocytes. When the FC region is bound to the phagocytic receptor, the invading pathogen is taken into the phagocyte and enzymatically digested. Okay. So, see this picture. This is the pathogen and here we have some antibodies. So, these are some opsonins and antibodies and they are coating, they are coating this pathogen now. So, when they are coating this pathogen, this is the phagocyte or this is the phagocytic cell. So, this phagocytic cell is having number of FC receptors that we can see. They have number of FC receptors around its cell surface or around its cell membrane. And this coated, opsonin coated pathogen is now coming here and the binding occurs between the FC receptors and the FC region of antibody. Right, And when this binding occurs, this whole thing will get internalized into the cell. And when the whole thing is gets internalized into the cell, the pathogen will be enzymatically degraded and the enzymes will be coming from the lysosomes and lysosomal enzymes will degrade them. So, there will be the destruction of pathogen. Okay. Next is complement mediated opsonization. So, complement proteins bind an invading pathogen. So, the process or mechanism is almost same between these complement mediated opsonization and antibody mediated opsonization. So, in that case, in antibody mediated opsonization, antibody binds the pathogens and in this case, the complement proteins bind the pathogen. And phagocytes also contain surface receptors. So, in case of antibody, we have seen that phagocytes do contain some FC receptors and in this case, phagocytes contain complementary receptors or called CR, complementary receptors. And that receptors bind complement proteins, right? Now, when the complementary protein binds the CR or complementary protein, complementary receptor, the invading pathogen is taken into the phagocyte and enzymatically digested. So, if this is the pathogen, now the opsonins or complement proteins are binding these of pathogen. They are coating this pathogen and when the pathogen is coated, this is the phagocytic cell. This cell is having number of complementary receptor around its surface and the CR or complementary receptors will bind the complement bound pathogen, the coated pathogens. And when those coated pathogens are bound with the cell surface, then the whole thing will be internalized and when the whole thing is internalized, these will be degraded by the action of lysosomal enzyme. So, lysosomal enzymes will degrade them. Sorry for the handwriting. My mouse it is not working very good. Okay. Okay. So, this is all about the opsonization.